Hello, hello. Hi, <laughs> hi, hi. Willkommen. Hi. <laughs> Now, thank you all so much for signing up for the mechanics of acting with with me, your your guide, uh, your mentor, but most importantly, your friend Nicholas Bottom, um, acting coach to the stars. <laughs> Now, very good. I see all of you have your scripts ready, which means you've learned lesson number one, uh, which is preparation. Right. And now before we uh, we embark on this hour of discovery, let's do a few introductions man by man, shall we? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, woman by woman for all my ladies out there. <laughs> um, Mel, Mel, darling, what's your name, darling? Um, Mel. Yes. Um, I'm um, looking at brushing up on a few things. I graduated from drama school in 1988. Oh, sorry, sorry, drama school. It... You went to drama school. Well, that means that must mean that you know RP, the RP. Uh, yes. Received pronunciation, the Queen's English, the the thing that very much brings us all together. Well, we were told to use our own accents more all than right. RP. All right, okay. So, so who's next? Uh, who, who are Hi. you? Hello. I'm Jamie. I'm looking at auditioning for drama school. Oh, well, wonderful. Isn't that lovely? Well, after this workshop, I doubt you'll need to. <laughs> Now, uh, last but not least, um, who are you? Yeah, I'm Sam. Yes. Um, Welch, we're doing an offer on workshops. It was either this or baking, and I didn't have any baking powder. All right, uh, <laughs> let's begin. As I said, lesson number one is preparation. Uh, of course, you've got your scripts, but do you know your scripts? What does your script treat on, if you will? Mel, Mel, my darling, what is your play about? What's it about, your play? Um, it's about Rosalind and her cousin Celia fleeing to the Forest of Arden where they bump into Orlando, uh, who Rosalind's already totally in love with, but she's now disguised as a boy. <laughs> yes, so yes, she has yes, to yes, yes, yes. It... Mel, 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 we all know the story of Twelfth Night. Um, it's... Um... It's as you like it. Uh, uh, yes, that's, that's what I said. Um, all right, lesson number two, character. Uh, Jamie, what is your character? Is it a lover or a tyrant? She's a barista. What? Well, it's people we used to go to the shop and I'm Lauren. Then season two, I suppose she's a lapper. All right, uh, lesson number three, physicality. All right, I'd like you all to close your eyes. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, um, right, now I want you to ask yourselves, what animal most resonates with my character? A dolphin. No, in your head, Sam. Mm. Now I want you to become that animal. Good. Good, very good. Mel, that's that's extraordinary. Mel, if that's a five, what would a minus one look like? Mm. Think about it. Good, very good. All right. Well, I, you know, I, I I'm going to be a lion. You know, move like a lion, think like a lion, be a lion. <laughs> uh, Jamie. What animal are you being there, darling? Yeah, I'm a hammerhead shark. <sighs> Very good. All right, well, let it go. Let all that work go. Lovely, lovely animal work. Fantastic. All right. Lesson number four. It's voice work. So most most important of all, of course, is to do a very decent vocal warm up. So uh, repeat after me. I like porridge in my bowl. I like porridge I in like my bowl. Porridge in my, in my bowl. bowl. I like porridge in my bowl. Uh, Sam, my darling. Like it. Sammy, Sammy, like my, my darling. Sam, you're saying bowel. Bowel. Yes. In my bowl. Yes. I like it. Oh, yes. But it does still work, though. Well, and oh. now, uh, let's wake up our support. Get into the core there. All right, so I want you to put your hands on your ribs, you know, really explore those Pentecostal muscles. Very good, very, very good. All right, and so repeat after me. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're right there, Sam. Um, yeah, it's just I've got a bit of spin on the camera now. Well, uh, welcome to the front row. 
<laughs> now, my darling, my darlings, um, vocal work's very important because we need to be able to project to the back row. Of course, what's really important when you're doing the work of the bard is to put a bit of gravel in your voice in order to indicate to your fellow actors and to the audience that you've been doing this work for many, many years. <laughs> I would dearly love to hear all of your fantastic vocal projection skills right now, but of course, my dog is a little bit skittish around loud noises. But so. what about if your character's just very quiet? You have struck on something there, my friend. You have struck on what we call in the biz the art of the stage whisper. Now, the trick with this is, of course, to whisper very loudly. Isn't that just a bit like shouting quietly? Mm, exactly, Sam. Uh, once you can use your voice to create different textures, you can begin to create different characters. Now, uh, you, you, you may be familiar with uh, my uh, critically acclaimed production of Pride and Prejudice, in which I played all the characters, I directed, I produced, I stage managed, and I, I, of course, I managed the box office. And let me tell you something, I don't think any of that audience could have been able to tell you that it was me who tore their tickets because of my superior vocal manipulation skills. <laughs> well, who'd suspect that the, the quiet, timid, little scouse ice cream seller was also playing... The Scottish and incredibly loud Mr. Darcy. Did they not recognise you? Well, thank you, Mel. That brings me to lesson number five, wardrobe, wigs and makeup. Now, there are many, 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 many different aspects to this work, but the most important and the most useful to you in your work as actors is surely the beard. Well, what if you're playing a woman? It's rather universal, Sam, so I wouldn't worry about that. Now, you can make your beard from anything. For, for instance, here I have a post-it note. <laughs> I, I stick it on my chin, and what have I got? Look, it's a goatee. Well, no, it's a post-it note on your chin. Uh, Mel, uh, pick up the nearest thing to you. Um, what is it? It's a mug. No... <laughs> No, 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 no. Mel, 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 what is it? It's a beard. Fantastic, Mel. Very, very good. Well, now you've all mastered the basics. I think it's time that you saw some of this work in action. And I'm proud to present to you a little extract from my production of Pride and Prejudice. It's uh, from the beginning of the show, which begins, of course, with a 12-minute overture played exclusively on the ukulele. Mr. Darcy, you're beautiful. I'm a middle daughter. It's complicated being a woman in the early 18th century. But you, you're so beautiful and you're stuck in a complicated system of social obligations. And I know one day you're going to find out that you've secretly inherited a fortune. <laughs> 